I am, I'm so humbled. Thank you so much, really. Thank you. Thank you. Like it's, I, what is it? It's like 1.30 in the morning and you're still here hanging in? We launched this campaign almost two years ago. And we had our slogan. It's on every one of those signs right now. Every county, every vote. Every county, every vote. I never expected that we were going to turn these red counties blue, but we did what we needed to do, and we had that conversation across every one of those counties. And tonight, that's why I'll be the next U.S. Senator from Pennsylvania. Yes, John Fetterman announces there's his victory speech. He has defeated Dr. Oz in Pennsylvania. He's going to be the next senator from Pennsylvania. Uh, to the roar, uh, uh, applause from the crowd there. Again, it was another race that was a little bit close. Let's keep it real. Let's look at that. Uh, let's look at the results there. Fetterman won 50.4 to 42.7. Currently, they're almost done, but they've already called the race for him, as you saw there. So Fetterman's win here. Let's go back to why people were even excited about him in the first place, because it started talking about once he suffered from the stroke and uh, so many things about Dr. Oz and where he actually lives versus who he really is, Democrat, Republican, his ass kissing for Donald Trump versus who he really was before. All that was being spoken about. But this is what Fetterman could potentially do in this position. So he's a longtime progressive. He's an outspoken supporter of, of abolishing the filibuster, raising the minimum wage, legalizing marijuana, criminal justice reform, and passing legislation to protect same-sex marriage, among other leading liberal priorities. His success will also provide inspiration to stroke survivors and other disabled Americans, some of whom took heart from his efforts to carry on campaigning, even as he exhibited the lingering effects of his stroke in May. Uh, so in case people, you know, maybe you're guys are some casual political followers. Yeah, uh, uh, John Fetterman suffered from a stroke in May, went through uh, a rehab over it. Speech was coming back, being able to uh, to cognitively take in words and, and, and give a response that everyone really could understand. And from that debate, many people worried that this isn't really going to work out. But Maz, it worked out. And now I wonder if those same uh, uh, people that say he can't possibly serve after what he went through will still be saying that as we see him serve. Well, I'm very happy for him. Yeah, he had to go over uh, some some major obstacles here to get there. Uh, first of all, I do got to say, though, I, I love the guy. I think he's great. I'm into the progressive ideas. Um, has he always been a sweatshirt guy? Because he looks like <laughs> he's on the watch list. No offense. You and I are <laughs> hey, wearing. I know, love we're not at a, we're not at a <laughs> but, but in all reality, I mean, Oz was a horrible candidate again. And it's, you know, Mitch McConnell called it out during the elections. He said that we have, we picked really bad candidates and that's when Trump went after him, et cetera. And, and Fetterman's a great candidate, I think, in, in terms of anyone um, who wants progress and wants this country to move forward. Um, and he had experience. So this was a great win. I just, I always, I always am very <clears throat> confused as to how these things get so close. Like, who's voting for Dr. Oz? Oz just mm. seems like a creep from beginning to end. And I just don't know. And it's the same thing with Herschel Walker. I mean, who's who? Who's holding their noses and voting for these people? Or do they yeah. actually like these people? I don't know. I, don't, I think so many people see a name. Oh, I remember Dr. Oz in his show. Oh, Herschel Walker ran for 2,000 yards. You know, whatever he ran for. Uh, so yeah. that was amazing. Speaking of which... That one's close and actually undecided at this point. Let's uh, shoot over to what happened with Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock. Let's see this. I'm telling you right now, I'm like Ricky Bobby. I don't come to lose. And, uh, and I told you, he's going to be tough to beat. He's going to be tough to beat, but let me tell you what. He got the wrong Georgia here, don't he? So I want to tell y'all... If you can hang in, hang in there a little bit longer. Just hang in there a little bit longer because something good, it takes a while for it to get better. And it's gonna get better. So I wanna just thank you guys for hanging in. And if you, some of you have to go home, you can wake up tomorrow morning and see that the new senator for the great state of Georgia is Herschel Walker. For the United, uh, 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 Alabama, it's the morning, Herschel. 
And uh, this is uh, the headline, considering what he said last night. It's not over. <laughs> U.S. Senate race between Warnock and Herschel Walker is headed to a runoff, as we see that with uh, 97% of the precincts reporting, they're still pretty much in a deadlock, and I think still under 50% each. Also, um, there's someone else to criticize from the Republican Party who criticized Herschel Walker as they were going through this whole thing, and he's still not happy. In fact, he's speaking out about it more. Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan, let's go down to this. He said they're waking up wishing they picked a better candidate. Here's fully what he said. Georgia's Republican, uh, uh, Re Republican Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan lamented on Wednesday that the Republican Senate candidate in Georgia was Herschel Walker. Yeah, he just lamented that it exists. He says, I think a lot of Republicans like me are waking up this morning going, what could have been if we picked a better candidate that could have won with a margin like Brian Kemp that would have been able to put real leadership on display, real ideas on display, win the hearts and minds of Georgians and get the state back to fully red is what he wondered. Now, that's what they were trying to do because, of course, Republican candidates that are looking to get into this position, of course, in Georgia as well, to kick out Raphael Warnock, was to go with the same sweeping, one-minded thought process of the Republican Party. So, of course, that's why they put Herschel Walker in there because he's going to be like, yeah, whatever you say, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, sure. So I'm not sure which other candidate it could have been, but I assume anyone could have been better, uh, Amaz. Well, Herschel Walker to me is like the opposite of John Fetterman. He's very, again, he's highly religious. It goes back to my my thing where you don't want to re mix religion and politics. And even though he's highly religious, he's still got, and, and by the way, a lot of, not this is not by any means a critique of all religious people, but there's a lot of hypocrisy in people who thump their chest about their religion. So we saw it with Herschel Walker where he says abortion is bad, and then he goes and pays for a couple of women to get abor abortions. Um, and 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 the infighting is very interesting as well. It's kind of like after the basketball game when this when this team imploded and the guy's going, well, we need better you know defense or our point guard or whatever. He's pointing fingers, and he's actually right. If they had had a better candidate, they would have stood a better chance. I'm just wondering if Georgia can come up with a better system so that we don't keep getting runoffs every two years <laughs> yeah. from Georgia. Can we just get an answer? I mean, Warnock's winning. Just give it to him. He's you know literally he's got to get to 50. So he's down by just a, you know probably like ten thousand you know several several thousand votes. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, I was just in Georgia doing shows in Atlanta, and a lot of great people in Georgia. But why are you voting for Herschel Walker? Like my whole thing has been like, either don't vote or vote for a sane candidate. Mm -hmm. I don't care if Republican, Democrat, just somebody who's sane. And and Walker is not sane. He and, and I was a Herschel Walker fan when he was a football player. But he's just taking too many hits to the head. Exactly. What does it mean? I, you, I feel like you answered the question there. You said, who votes for Herschel Walker? People who can't separate the fact that they were a fan of him for running up and down a football field versus a fan of him running across the state trying to say anything that makes any sense. One he was successful at. And he's close to being successful at the second. Let's keep it real. But... Who looked at what happened with all those scandals that broke free from the kid lying about his kids to lying about the women he forced into abortions and go, that's our guy. It means your principles aren't what you say they are. Let's keep it real. By the way, by the way, he and Trump and cahoots, you know, they're they're together. And and let's not forget when they got together for the USFL, it also failed. So true. History repeats itself.